Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kenny Martini Cross Nation, and today we are just simply going over the battle analysis video for Illustrated Diz. Now, uh, I'm basically doing a little bit of backtracking. Uh, I know this is a medal that is currently not out available for anybody to really get anymore, so it's either you have it or you don't. But at the very least, I still wanted to make the video. Um, I am backtracking and trying to like cover up uh, and finish all the metal analysis videos that I didn't get to actually do beforehand. So it's kind of what I'm in the process of doing. But at the very least, uh, let's get into the metal analysis. So Illustrated Diz is a speed upright metal. Tier 7 has a score of 35.356, is random target, and has a total max multiplier of 21.90, uses 7 gauges, and this is his ability. He raises the upright strength by one tier for one turn and restores three gauges. So basically what I have to say about this is that if you've happened to seen my SCAR metal analysis video, the advice I gave for SCAR will pretty much apply towards Illustrated Diz, uh, but just towards speed upright setups, okay? He's the type of metal that in terms of skills, you want to put any type of uh, cost reduction on him as much as possible um, for a variety of reasons. One, because he costs seven gauges, which is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> that's like, that's a lot. Um, another one also being that if you can actually put a cost reduction on him to get him anywhere from two gauges or less, uh, it's actually a benefit on your part because you can actually start restoring some of your gauges at that point too. Now, the only reason why you would want extra attack on this metal is solely uh, for, well, for two reasons. Uh, if you have a cost reduction skill on him, you would be restoring some extra gauges uh, from that, as well as you would also be getting an extra upright buff uh, if that happens to matter to you. Now, after I stating all that, okay, let me give you guys a little bit of my thoughts about Illustrated Diz, okay? Illustrated Diz is literally the speed upright metal that we've been needing for quite a long time for just, well, even just speed in general, because uh, speed has been severely lacking in support uh, not just speed reverse severe speed reverse is already in like in like <laughs> Is like already in the dumps is like the poorest of the poor out of all the attributes right now But speed upright is still in a pretty bad spot as well right now, too um, And illustrated Diz actually helps uh, bring it out <laughs> of the garbage a little bit uh, and actually makes speed upright a little bit more salvageable uh, And that is primarily because of the fact that as of right now it is currently the strongest speed upright metal that we currently have in the game okay we're gonna go ahead and look at my speed upright spreadsheet that i have right now it's not on my site just yet um, but i do have the spreadsheet available as of right now like i mentioned in my scoring he does have a score of 35.356 so in terms of score on this spreadsheet he ranks about uh let's see eight about sixth place not counting the copy medals in the game um, which is actually really good uh, in terms of score anyways. Um, but I should also state that if you take a look at the medals that are actually above Illustrated Diz, a lot of these medals are actually not really that relevant <laughs> anymore. Even 0.2 Kyrie is above Illustrated Diz. Uh, and she's a tier 5 medal. I mean, realistically, this makes sense because Illustrated Diz doesn't, honestly doesn't really do too much. He's literally almost pure, a pure damage medal. He's literally just there for the multiplier. Um, was so basically just like it was for scar uh how i talked about like in the ideal situation where you already max out all your buffs and debuffs um illustrated diz would be your go-to metal for your pure damage metal that you want at the end of your keyblade now if i were to organize this by total max multiplier go ahead and do that we can see that illustrated diz automatically jumps to the top it was going back to what i was saying before that he is currently the strongest speed upright metal in the game he is currently second to lingering will all right now what that tells me right there <laughs> and i already knew about it but i wanted to show the spreadsheet first before i talked about it but what that tells me right there is that quite literally speed is in a really bad spot <laughs> in case you're not aware but the japanese version of the game actually already got uh some extra speed upright damage uh metals already in addition to illustrated diz um they actually got a uh I like Jack Skellington 
like type of metal which was actually supposed to be the speed upright version of the hercules b and valor genie that we currently have in global as well as they also as many of you know right now too they also have the judy and nick b metal which is also supposed to be the speed upright version of the ffrk warrior of light and terra metal that we're currently having global as well but the global version of the game has skipped out on both of those speed upright metals um so we were pretty much in a position where the lingering will was still our strongest uh speed upright metal in the game and lingering will is a tier 5 metal that got released like months maybe even a year ago to be honest because <laughs> it is tier 5 so it's been a very long time since speed upright has seen any sort of love whatsoever at least in the damage department uh so illustrated Diz was definitely a like must have if you have if you happen to be trying to use a uh, speed upright setup as your main setup of any sort um, if not though you can use lingering will now if we were to organize this by alternative total max multiplier it ends up being the same exact scenario. Illustrated Diz is still the top contender uh, with Lingering Will just right below it. Now, if we wanted to organize this uh, looking at the tier seven spreadsheet, okay, so I have it right here and it's already organized by score. So if we take a look at this, Illustrated Diz is actually right here, so kind of towards the middle. He's right next to Scar and King Triton, which, which honestly makes complete sense. They all, like all three of them do the exact same thing, except Scar buffs, uh, a reverse buff instead of an upright one because he is a reverse metal so but i mean it does make sense they are pretty much just pure damage metals uh and they are not really there for anything else to be honest you don't re you really don't really want to use them for the buffs anyways you really want them there for the multiplier um which is kind of why they have lo low somewhat lowish scores a large reason why their scores are actually so high is because of the fact they have such high multipliers now if we were to organize this by uh, total max multiplier for all the tier 7 medals in the game right now. We can see that Scar, Illustrated Diz, and King Trainer are all up top. Um, which makes sense because um, this is total max multiplier, not alternate total max multiplier. And these are a constant, uh, consistent multiplier, 21.9. There is no range as a lot of medals tend to have. So in that regards, if we were to look at the alternative total max multiplier, which is where a lot of the more situational type aspects start to happen it starts to, it slightly changes okay the scar king triton and illustrated Diz go down to second place and are only bested by ffrk terra and warrior of light which i mean makes sense uh they are single target metals that do more damage against you know well one opponent and they have an alternative total max multiplier of 21 of 24.16 whereas scar illustrated Diz, and king triton have multipliers of 21.9 so it's just slightly below it but they do go above it now one thing i do want to point out real quick though about uh the difference between scar illustrated Diz, king trident and the ffrk terra and warrior light metals is the fact if you happen to be using any of the stained glass metals in your setup along with the uh with scar illustrated Diz or king triton um what ends up happening is a very interesting thing which is essentially um because of the fact that the stained glass metals do provide a 40% guilt buff, what ends up happening to each of these metals multipliers is that Scar, Illustrated Diz, and King Tren, their multipliers end up going from a max multiplier of 21.9 all the way up to a 24.82, all right? And as Terra, FFRK, Terra, and War Light, they normally already provide themselves a plus 30% guilt buff, but because of the fact if you're using a stained glass metal with the FFRK Terra Warrior Light, that guilt buff, the plus 40%, will actually override the 30%. So uh, and now actually raise their multipliers from a from 24.16 all the way up to a 24.88. Now after stating that, um, they're basically almost the exact same thing. Illustrated Diz with a stained glass metal's buff will be at 24.82. And FFRK Terra or Royal Light with the stained glass buff would be at 24.88. They are basically the same thing, okay? King Triton and Illustrated Diz and Scar are all random target compared to FFRK Terra and Royal Light for a single target. So basically what this means is that if you're able, like I mentioned before with Scar, if you're able to have an ideal situation where you can already cap out all of your max buffs and debuffs 
before you get to illustrated Diz, Diz is going to be your go-to metal depending on your situation because he is random target and the multiplier is about the same thing. Uh, he's going to be an absolute powerhouse. Okay, they're pretty much the same exact thing. Now, out of formalities, we're actually going to go ahead and compare Illustrated Diz to all of the currently existing metals in the game. And if we go ahead and scroll down as of right now, he appears right here. And he's just a slight scroll downwards, which honestly isn't that bad. To be honest, it's what I expected. He is just pretty much a pure damage metal. Uh, so he doesn't contribute too much to score. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to actually take a look at his total max multiplier since he is a damage metal and that is primarily what we're going to end up looking at, looking at for damage metals. Uh, and if we take a look at total max multiplier, just like with the tier 7s spreadsheets, Scar, Illustrated Diz, and Keytrion pop up all the way at the top uh, with their 21.9 multipliers. So if we were to take a look at the alternative total max multipliers, it's the same exact thing with the tier 7 spreadsheet. They go down all the way to 7th place with FFRK Terra and Warrior Light just barely beating them at the 24.16. Other than that, that was it for today, guys. Uh, I hope you found that helpful. But if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe. And hit that bell button. It's the best way to know when I upload new videos such as this one. But other than that, that was it for today, guys. Uh, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.